This video is intended to help you search PubMed to find materials related to the social aspects of health, such as health administration, social determinants of health, health promotion, health policy, etc. PubMed is a database offered from the National Library of Medicine that includes citations from the biomedical literature. PubMed is a sick database. It is focused on disease, not social aspects of health. Let's get started. Let's start with a basic keyword search in PubMed. I'm interested to find articles about the policy implications of pollution-related health disparities. I'll type in health disparities pollution policy into the main search box and click search. The main search box is a smart search box that tries to amp amplify your search results for the most relevant results. We'll talk about this a bit more in a minute. You'll notice that the number of results are not too many, but if we look closer, a lot of these results don't have that much to do with policy. Let's look at an example. This article, Revealing the Hidden Health Costs Embodied um, in Chinese Exports. It's related, but let's take a closer look. I noticed that in the abstract, uh, policy isn't a central theme. If I scroll down on this article page, I can see more information about the article, including publication type, mesh terms, subs and substances. To view it, I'll expand the section. I want to look at the mesh terms. What is mesh? Basically, mesh is the database brain behind your search. Since MeSH is the database's brain, and I want to find articles that are about policy implementations, I would hope to have something in the MeSH terms that indicate that. But I don't see anything. What you do see are the MeSH terms and their subheadings that tell us what the article is about. A MeSH term represents a concept. In this instance, we see air pollution, healthcare costs, etc. You'll also notice that some terms have um, on the page are qualified by language after a forward slash, for example, with air pollution adverse effects. The terms after the forward slash are MeSH subheadings. MeSH subheadings are also part of the database's brain. They are qualifiers to MeSH terms. Here you see that the article is about adverse effects of air pollution. We'll use subheadings a bit more in a minute. So let's try and figure out what PubMed is doing with our search terms. I'm going to go back to my search results and investigate. On the search results page you will see a box for search details. This is the language that the search box spits out. It is how the database interpreted your keywords. You'll see that behind the keywords we used there are tags in brackets. All fields means that the word was searched in all database fields. Mesh terms means that the word was searched in only the mesh terms field, and so on. You'll see here that the word health is searched as a keyword and also as mesh terms. Because we know that mesh is the database's brain, let's try to see if we can use it to improve our search. I'm going to go to the advanced search page so we have more search options. For our search on policy implications for pollution and health disparities, let's start by adding some keywords. On the first line, I'll add in health disparities. On the next line, I'll enter in pollution. These are going to be the keyword searches because I'll leave the drop-down selected on all fields. Then, on the third line, I'm going to use a MeSH subheading that gets at my po social policy idea, legislation and jurisprudence. In order to tell PubMed to search a MeSH subheading, we'll select MeSH subheadings in the drop-down. Then, I will click on Show Index List. I select the appropriate subheading and then I click on search. Let's look at the mesh terms in a result. I'm going to choose um, number 15, Cumulative Risk Assessment and Environmental Equity in Air Permitting. 
Let's scroll down to look at the MeSH terms and we see that legislation and jurisprudence is definitely in our result set. Moreover, we also find that the article's abstract speaks better to our idea of policy. My search results are now much more relevant to my need. Using this record, we could also take even more clues to improve our search. For example, I see that I could use the MeSH term environmental exposure if I were interested in articles that were not just about air pollution. To recap, one of the best things you can do to find relevant search results in PubMed for social concepts is to experiment with MeSH terms and MeSH subheadings. If you need help identifying terms, first do keyword searches, then look at MeSH terms in article results. If you're still stuck, talk with me or another librarian who can help you.